Um, I just wondered um, why you felt that this age group would just deliver comic gold for you with uh, good boys. Oh my God, this, this is the funniest age. This is to be 11, 12 years old, you're going to starting puberty, your body's changing, your voice is changing, you don't feel comfortable with your own skin, you're very earnest, your, uh, your um, hormones are going crazy, you're quick to cry, you're quick to laugh. It's, it's a great age for comedy. <laughs> And how autobiographical was it? Did, did uh, it stir some of your own memories of being? This that is age? all based on Lee's life. Yeah, this was basically it was like a documentary of my life, and then we just we decided to put actors in instead of me. Yeah. No, I think you know I think we were, um, you know there there you know there are moments here and there, but it was really you know what we were really trying to evoke was a feeling, and uh, you know I I have very vivid, vivid memories of uh, walking into town for the first time by myself. It was like a mile, or as you say, a kilometer. And in your, uh, in your language, in your language, <laughs> and the uh, no, and, and, you know, and feeling like I, I, I that that mile could have might as well have been you know three hundred miles. I was terrified. Uh, high school kids drove past me and my friend and 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 taunted us. I thought we were going to die that day. You know, so I think I think everyone has that that those memories or being on your bike with your friends and kind of biking down the middle of the street and anything is possible. And that that was kind of what we were trying to evoke with this. Yeah. And one of the producers is Seth Rogen. Can you tell us a little bit about his involvement and how helpful his input was? Sure. Yeah, I mean, th this was a movie that didn't have, really have any stars in it, so we really were lucky to get him and Evan to kind of present the movie, you know, as, as here's the brand. If you like super bad, here's from the people who brought you that. So that was really helpful marketing. They also had great ideas on, you know, the script and casting, and, and I mean, they've been doing this a long time, so... We were lucky to have them. And when you were writing the movie, was there any um, ever any concern that parents wouldn't like, agree to let their kids act in this movie? Well, you know, we, I mean, yes. Although the parents that did, you know, the kids that auditioned, their parents clearly were working with them. So in a way, it was almost pre-vetted. And, you know, once the parents were on set, they, to, I mean, to a parent, I mean, we, we were really lucky. But everyone kind of knew what they were kind of signing up for. So the experience was really was very pleasant and, and the parents were, were great people. And the three leads that you did find, why did you feel they were right for the roles and, and worked well together? I mean, it was just pretty apparent uh, early on. Once you see, you know, we had a lot of trouble with, with those two roles and it took a long time to find them, but once Keith and Brady, uh, you know, auditioned, it, felt, it clicked and you're like, yes, okay, it just, this feels right. And we bring the kids together. They felt like they were friends and that first table read, it really kind of, it felt, it felt like, electric. It felt like yeah. they had been friends for five years. Yeah. You know, they're so young that five years is, you know, more than half of their lives. But <laughs> <laughs> um, And the film is hilarious throughout, I think, but it never really feels like it's at, at, the, at the expense of the children themselves. Can you talk a bit about the, the, the brand of the humor, the tone of the humor? Yeah, we, we, yeah. Tr oh, yeah. we tried to keep it positive in the sense that the kids aren't nasty to each other. It's not a nasty type of humor that you know, a lot of the comedy comes from them maybe not understanding the world that they're engaging with. I think also a lot of movies, I think you know, it's like where do you find the comedy in a movie? And I think with this, it's like a lot of the comedy comes from their innocence, their earnestness, their, their certainty that this is the way that things are and then being completely wrong and the audience enjoying them being completely wrong about something that, you know, that they understand. And there are some classic movies um, like The Goonies and Stand By Me that have you know, children in the lead roles that adults really enjoy. and. The It movies, of course, re more recently, and yeah. Stranger Things. W what do you think it is that um, adults get out of watching these things that have kids in the, at the center well, I, of them? I mean, I think all those adults were kids at one point, so I think just thinking back on their own lives, and and those feelings are all universal, and so I think they're just, you know, it's it's also funny just to see kids swearing on, on that level. It, it's just it's just funny. It never stops being funny, but it's also more than that. I think they're enjoying. There's a nostalgic element to it. You know, Stranger Things and It and, and Good Boys. And I think, you know, we're all that age. We can relate to it. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is that yeah. from The Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!